But let me tell y'all right now. If y'all plan on coming to the Sands in Jonesboro, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, y'all. It's over. They ain't playing about this shit here. Oh my god. Y'all. It's a wrap. I mean, this is crazy. Y'all panicking. The only thing the, the government just wants y'all to go spend all this money. That's it. The government just wants y'all to panic like everything, everything. Yeah. Oh my god. Ain't even no tissue. No tissue. Oh my God, ain't even no tissue. No tissue. They ain't messed with this, this water though. They got that other water out of the way. This still here though. <laughs> of course. Right, we one, everybody is eating one meal. Breakfast, one meal. three meals a day. One small meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, no snacks in between. And if you get a snack, it's a half a bag of Cheez-Its. You can split it with two people because we don't know what's about to happen. If you get a little Debbie, then you're going to split it in four, four pieces and pass it out like that. Period. The devil. All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly and ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. Also, I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, I want to give a shout out to the hopefully elect that are pushing and believing within this truth. All across the world, all across the four corners of the earth. All right, a shalom to you. All right, and just following up after those clips, just a few clips that I grabbed of what's recently occurring, uh, surrounded upon the the uh, longshoremen, all right, dot worker strike, all right, along with you know uh, the anticipation of price and rising of you know the 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 hurry, even even with the uh, what took place with the hurricane, all right, with Hurricane Helen. Okay, people, hey, the the American people. Uh, truly that the condition all right, of the American people reality is fin finally setting in. All right. Finally is finally is is settling in right about now. OK, that that worry, that panic is starting is starting to trouble the minds of the American people. All right. Now, it's, it's specifically the American people. Why? Because that's the this truly this is truly the most comfortable people on the planet Earth, man, as a nation. All right. The Americans, man. OK. Compared to you know other nations out in the in the world today, all right. But these recent events, all right, with the hurricane, a natural which is a natural disasters with the with the with the uh, port strikes, okay, which which can lead towards disaster, chaos, all right, trouble, violence, all right, hyperinflation, a plethora of things just from just from these few things alone, okay. So I want to read or start with. Proverbs chapter one, and I wanted to read this in the uh, the New Living Translation. Okay, and it reads, "How long, you simpletons? All right, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Yeah, how long would our people continue to be idiotic and choose and actually choose to be, you know, stupid or or to not know uh, what is truly going on around you? All right, to not." Inquire about the knowledge of the Lord tonight. Inquire about the men, the men, the Hebrew Israelites, the prophets that you see teaching in the city near you, the videos that you see. Why, you know, how long will you choose, you know, basically choose death instead of life? How long will you be simple minded? You know, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23 Come and listen to my counsel. And where where is the counsel of the Lord? It's with the prophets, it's with the Holy Bible. Okay, it says, Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise because we're made wise when, re when receiving and believing and understanding the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Bible. You're, you're then made wise. You then understand 
what's what's going on around you then understand prophecy what's to happen next you didn't understand how to operate all right within with within within your everyday life okay how to how to please the lord you you're now wise you're not you now follow after the light within Yahweh Shai and you are the light okay but our people you know our people <laughs> choose not to okay proverbs chapter 1 verse uh 24 and that's why with these events taking place, people are being shaken up. People are truly being shaken up. All right. And it just hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't hit, you know, hit the, you know, hit rock bottom just yet. But the hey, the, they, the anticipation is there. You know, the vision of it happening is there. People see it. Okay. Proverbs chapter, two, chapter one, verse 24. I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. How is the Lord reaching out to you, to, to you people? All right. And it truly to you, Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans who are truly Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, you are God's chosen people. How the Lord is reaching out through the videos, through the Internet, through the through the prophets and the men of the Lord teaching on the highways and the byways in the city near you. But our people pay the masses pay no attention. OK, verse five, verse 25, you ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. All right. The people reject the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that is being brought forth by the men of the Lord. It's being rejected. All right. People do not care. People do not consider. And not only that, but they also despise it. They also mock and talk shit. All right. Where well, the Lord is about to talk his shit through through those natural through, through the hurricanes and through putting the spirit upon the the different governmental officials and these different organizations going on strike and causing your your essentials. Not your accessories, but your essentials that you need, you know, to, to live a, a a stable, you know, livelihood, okay? To be a halt on the, on the eastern shore, all right? Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26. So I will laugh when you are in trouble. And this is the Lord. This is the Lord, man. So will I laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. And we see the disaster on the horizon, Okay? With these poor strikes, it's, it's anticipating of hyperinflation. All right, with no with the the, the lack of resources that's being brought, you know, because it's a it's this is a heavy importing country. All right, so the disaster is right on the horizon, it's right around the corner. All right, weeks a hey, weeks away. All right, weeks away, days and weeks away, man. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna get. Oh, let me get Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty seven. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone, and anguish and distress overwhelm you, yeah, people are anxiety, man, people are about to, are are confused and not they're, they're panic buying, not knowing what to do, where to go, you know what, you know. But the thing about the men of the Lord is, all right, those that believe upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, the Lord, this is when we, this is when you lead on faith. Psalms chapter forty six. Verse uh verse 10, it reads, Be still and know that I am the most high. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. All right, so for those that believe upon the Lord, that truly, sincerely, and genuinely believe upon Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, we know to be still, be calm, be patient, all right? Be watchful, all right? Be faithful, all right? Be hopeful until the end. Be charitable, okay? Be obedient, okay? And the Lord will take care of the rest. Simple as that. All right. And we have the accounts. We have the the history. All right. Right. The, of, of the records right in front of us through the Holy Bible, through the scriptures, through the scrolls. OK. So going back to Proverbs chapter one, verse 27, one more time. When calamity overtakes you like a storm because the calamity, the trouble is, is coming. People about to stress out. People about to, you know, uh, lose their minds. OK. You take away the food, you take every certain resource, you take away people's jobs, people are going to lose their minds, okay? When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone, and anguish and distress overwhelm you, people are about to be overwhelmed, stressed the hell out, struggling even worse. Because we, we us as a people, for us Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're already a low people. We already lack the, 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 the resources that we need in the first place. We have to go to the what? Our, the enemy for the one of all things, as a, as it speaks about in the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, concerning the curses that were to come upon the God chosen people, the Israelites. 
We go to the we go to our enemy, we go to our oppressor for the one of all things. And now we're about to feel that curse even more. <laughs> it says verse uh, 28. When they cry for help, I will not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me. <laughs> verse thir- verse 29. For they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. And that was the advice, as it mentioned in verse 25. That's the advice from the from the from the teachers, from your from the prophets, from the men of the Lord. All right, that's the advice to hey, fear the Lord, have faith, repent, be obedient, follow after the law, statutes, commandments that the Lord has advised and made the covenant with the nation of Israel. All right, with us that we're supposed to be doing in the first place. All right, be obedient to your power that he may uh, cause exemption of judgment upon you. All right, so you can be exempt from the wrath of the Lord in these, in these last days, in these last times. Okay. Verse 30, they rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. And that correction is coming out through the men of the Lord. All right, as we correct ourselves, we have, we have to correct our, on a daily basis. All right, because we sin as well. All right, and the ways of sin are death. All right, but through the mercy and grace of Yahweh Shai, we're able to be forgiven of our sins. All right, we had to receive, we're able to receive even more grace and favor inside of, inside of, the, uh, of the Heavenly Father. All right, thanks to Yahweh Shai being an intercession, that mediator between the Israelites and Yahweh. Okay, so from there, I want to grab Luke chapter 6, verse, um, verse, I started verse 21. You know what, verse 20, Luke chapter 6, verse 20, and it reads, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples. And who are the disciples? Those are followers at the Yahweh by Hashem All right, the learners, the followers. It says, and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of, uh, for yours is the kingdom of God. All right, yeah, blessed be because we're true. We're, we're at a lower state. All right, we have, we have to humble down. We have to submit to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and we should, we also hey, you, we, the Lord has chosen the poor of this world to confound the wise, or the weak things of this of this society to confound those those that are mighty. Okay, so yeah, we may we may appear as Regular individuals, regular degular, you know, you, 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 a regular citizen. All right, but truly, in the eyes of the Lord, we're not. Okay, if we endure into the end, if we be a part of the election, be a part of that elect, that remnant that are predestined and preordained to be saved. All right, because our mental, our treasure, our goal is, is upon the kingdom. All right, we're living forever, being saved, being delivered. Okay, while the minds of today's people are just chasing money, chasing the bag, chasing attention. Chasing clicks and, and views and, and, and likes and subscriptions. All right. That's it. Verse 21. Or women. All right. Verse uh, verse 21. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. See? Ble- it's, ble- it's, ble- it's blessed to humble down now, suffer now, suffer righteous- for righteousness sake now, for- suffer for the Lord's name sake now. To be humiliated, you know, we, we, the Hebrew Israelites are, are mocked, talk shit upon, you know, bashed, despised. But that's the lot in the position of the followers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in the last days. Verse 22, blessed are ye when men shall hate you. So it's truly a blessing because that's that's the lot of a true prophet, a true believer. We're hated. And why? Because of the message that we deliver, the prophecy that we teach. All right. We're speaking upon the, the truth according to the Bible. Thermonuclear missile destruction that is to come to planet to the planet Earth and especially to America, Babylon the Great. This land will never be lived in and inhabited ever again. This is the war to end all wars. World War Three. The things that we speak and prophesy upon are the things that the world does not want to happen, such as a famine, such as hyperinflation, such as the thermonuclear missile destruction, such as World War Three, such as the stress, calamities, and anguish of spirits. You know. Continuing on, and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Yeah, it's not because of how you look or how you dress, how, how much money you have. No, it's going to be because that we that we serve and worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's going to be the reason. Verse 23, and that is the reason. Verse 23, rejoice ye in that day, yeah, the, the last days that is, and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich. 
For ye have received your consolation. What's the consolation? Your comfort. These people have been comforted. You, you received your benefits. You have lived it up. You did your, you, you did your damn thing. All right. Now that time is coming to a complete end, especially for the American people. All right. Entitled as hell, arrogant, proud. OK. It's that it that that time is coming to a complete end. Pride coming before destruction. All right. Or pride go before destruction. OK. <clears throat> and it's pride. It's a prideful thing to to come against the the the, the will of the heavenly father. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and his message, his advice, his correction. All right. Luke, and people are going to and people are going to find out that through the hard way. All right. So Luke chapter six, verse twenty five. Woe unto you that are full for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now for ye shall mourn and weep. All right. So the roles about to be reversed, especially for our oppressors as well. But for the wicked of our own people, the roles are about to be reversed on you as well. All right. It's about to be reversed. you laughing now thinking shit is all sweet. All right, thinking the prophecies won't anything happen. Oh, you guys been saying this thing. Oh, these are these are fear tactics. All right, you're fear mongering or whatever the case may be. All right, but we, well, we're truly here to tell you that hey, we're we're here to persuade you through the terror of the Lord. All right, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And with these recent events that's taking place, people needing gas, people needing food, people you know, people you know, minds are being attacked. All right, you want to need Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right, in, in these in these dire times, these serious times, these deadly times, dangerous. Okay, and with these recent events that are occurring now, it's it's right on it's right on the horizon. If these things continue as of right now. All right, on, on the verge they're going at the rate that they're going, it's going to get bad very very soon. All right, and then everything and all the joking will stop. All the game plan will come to a complete end. All right, so. Just truly wanted to come with the lesson concerning, you know, the reality. This this is reality, man. This is what the scriptures prophesy about. This is this is what's real. This is real life. All right. The you know, the little fake, the the facade, these illusions that the people are, are living. All right. That's that it that ain't it. The, you have a you have an enemy. All right, we have we have these these other these other heathen nations, they're enemies. The, all the politics and all the, the game plan living in America, man, it is fake. People, the world is fake. The people are fake. Reality is about to show you. Hey, the people are about to show their real colors very, very soon. Are right, concerning the government? Concerning and the Lord's about to show. The Lord's about to show you reality. He's about to show you the real, <laughs> the real prophecies. What's really, what's really supposed to go down? Okay. So it's it's setting it's settling in, especially on the American people. Okay. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and also still encouraging to you, sincere listeners and you, sincere believers out there. I want to end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, who teach and rule well. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.